Hey, 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 hi everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying a lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'm gonna show you on how to set up XR Animator so that way you can send the tracking data to VC Face for webcam hand tracking, or you can have full body webcam tracking in VC Face. Really cool, right? So I will give a heads up, by the way, in case, you know, you are a bit new to VC phase. I do have an ultimate guide to VC phase if you need any help with that. And I will also, again, leave the download for XR Animator in the description below, as well as their Twitter, if you have Twitter. If by any chance you hate Twitter, which I don't blame you for that, I will leave the uh, Virtual Deeds Discord server, which is usually where you would have uh, VC phase support at. Also noting... Um, please note that again, people do have lives. So if you don't get an answer quickly, again, please respect that people do get busy. So, um, but I do believe the XR Amir dev is in the server. So, you know, they should be there if in case you have any XR animator, um, questions. Um, but I believe, I believe, uh, the creator does have a discord or something. Their GitHub specifies the like how to contact them so just check out their github but either way though uh i one last thing before we get started as well if you are already using webcam tracking in the vc face please make sure that you have that disabled simply by making sure that when you open vc face for the first time on the top right of vc face make sure to set it to op open c face tracking or there was like a saying where it pretty much disables the webcam tracking on the top right so please make sure you turn that off uh there and that way you're not using because again you cannot use uh one web camera for multiple programs which is really ironic because you can use a microphone for multiple programs but not a web camera thanks a lot microsoft anyways with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to open up XR Anime right here. You'll be greeted with this blue button and you can upload your custom 3D model simply by opening your file explorer, finding the VRM file and clicking and dragging over here so that way it can load it and you can click on start. I also want to give another disclaimer as well. If you experience any lagging issues with XR Anime, probably it means because again, XR Anime and VC Face are rendering your model twice. So make sure your model is well optimized. Void models usually should be well optimized, but if you ever experience it, you may, uh, it kind of depends if it's a from scratch model, consult your modeler. If it's a void model, you may want to try making another version of your void model that is lower quality just for extra anime or less extra anime is your vtuber program now with that being said uh you'll see some advice that extra anime pops up over here on the left side uh it does go by really quickly so make sure you read as fast as you can but it does cycle through so keep that in mind but simply you can scroll downward to zoom in scroll upwards to zoom out and then hold the control button and left click in order to pan your model to align it there's also left click to rotate your model as well but for me i'm not too much of a fan of the rotation and you can probably see why um because it's a little like just me personally but it's all right um we're gonna go ahead and continue though so what you're going to do is you're going to click on the webcam media right here and you're going to click on yes and then you're going to find the camera of your choice your web camera go ahead and click on your web camera of choice and then once you have that what you're going to then do is you're going to go over to motion capture double click on this and then depending on what you want to do will depend on your thing now if you want it where xr animator takes full control of your face and body tracking and have it for full body then choose either one of these things media pipe visions the newest version here so you could choose that if you want full body webcam tracking if that's not your cup of tea, but you just want for like upper body tracking only, then just do face plus body here for upper body only tracking with webcam being the face. If you're gonna do what I'm going to do is that my iPhone will be my face tracking, but I want extra amorous body and hands, then I will select this setting right here. Otherwise, if you just want the body, especially if you wanna combine stretch sense gloves or some other tracking of your fingers or something you could do that or face only if depending on you know if you just want face only so there's that but you know it is your judgment you'll have to experiment this there's even mocap things 
uh, option as well, which goes over a lot of different settings, which I won't go over in this tutorial, um, but there are a lot of things that you can adjust. So back here, I'm going to go ahead and click on body plus hands. So I'm going to click on that and give it some time for uh, XR animator to process. You might want to keep yourself uh, staying still at a neutral position to make sure that XR animator, you know, doesn't derp up your tracking. So don't be moving too much while it's calibrating. Uh, but once you have your tracking there, you should be able to raise your hands and you're able to you know, move your fingers around. Again, obviously you won't be able to do crazy fast hand captured perfectly, but it should be very decent, especially for a program that is free. So, but as you can see, my hand tracking is pretty darn good. Now, what you're going to do now is that we need to send this tracking over to VC Face. So in order to do that, we're going to go over to the VMC setting right here. Keep note of the port number right here, but go ahead to VMC protocol and click on uh, here to make it on. So it's active right now. Once you have that, what you're going to then do is click on done. There's also uh, the VMC camera, but VC face does not do VMC cameras. Um, I believe that's a, diff a different VTuber program does that, but not VC face, unfortunately. So go ahead and click on done. And what you're going to then do is you're going to go to your settings here click on general settings and then what you're going to do uh, for my case I'm using iPhone but again like I said if you're gonna you know uh, if you're gonna use the webcam face tracking from extra Amir, then obviously you don't need that but you're going to click on OSC VMC receiver and you're going to see your model uh, going to teleport out pretty low so just keep that in mind your model's gonna be a bit lower um that's just going to be normal and as you can pretty much see the tracking is working you can of course if you like i said if you want to do iphone with xr animator you can click on apply vc face tracking and you can actually mix and match so let's say if i just want the hand um let's say if i just want the hand tracking of xr animator then you could do this type of combination. So I have the iPhone being my face and, you know, the iPhone is controlling my body, but I have extra Amir as my hand tracking. So you can do that. Um, if you want it where it takes full control of everything else, then you can uncheck the rest of these. And that way you can have extra Amir be the one that takes control of the rest of the body. Um, as for track face features, um, if you want to disable that or, you know, kind of depends on how you want your face tracking to be and also even your expression toggles as well. So just keep that in mind, your face expression. But this is usually like, um, just depends what you have. Personally, I would like it if um, I keep the, you know, I keep it where VC face is the one that doing the main tracking but extra amir is the one that is doing the hands so that's my personal preference but your probably will be different now another th uh, or last thing i do want to say um or actually not last thing uh another thing uh is that you do have blend shape smoothing and both smoothing over there as well so if you think extra amir is uh too jittery you can probably smooth it here um, if it's too smooth, then you can lower it. But XR Amir has smoothness by default, so you won't have to set it up, but it's up to you. And then there's blend shape smoothing if you need more smoothness for your blend shape. Up to you. Now, um, as for when it comes to a little troubleshooting, if by any chance you think, um, you do notice that your hands are very folly offy, like your hands fall off quite a lot. I definitely recommend mounting, like move around your web camera until you can get to the right position that you want. Again, it is not going to be perfect. It is webcam tracking after all, but with some trial and error, you can get mounted in a way that it can work for you. Really just depends on your comfort and preferences. You'll have to self experiment that. Um, another thing also can be is better lighting as well. Better lighting means better webcam tracking. And also it's a matter of learning your muscle memory. 
So as you practice puppeteering your hands, you could probably understand what range you're going for. For example, if I put my hands a little lower here, like lower my head, you can see how my hand is starting to freak out. But if I keep my hands like kind of like in the middle of where my head is at and just move my hands from there, I'm able to have some really nice webcam hand tracking. So, you know, I can again V tube like this, but then I can like quickly raise my hand, make sure I know like, okay, this is where my hand will be properly detected. There's that. Another thing lastly is also uh, be careful with what is behind you because there may be some stuff in the background that can cause your hand tracking to think that it's, you know, your hands are tracking, but your hands are actually down, which is actually happening to the left hand right now. Um, is that there's something in the background that's kind of thinking that um, that hand is up or going up when it's actually down. That or it's probably my arms. But, you know, there's a couple of troubleshooting things you can do. Um, but again, if you have any issue with extra animator, you can contact the developer uh, for any other help. But other than that, though, I do hope that this tutorial has helped you out. And I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye! Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership. So if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way though, with that being said though, hey, 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 goodbye bye everyone. I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye!